we've got we've got a real potential pts here that's uh that's waiting in the in the background here and let's please welcome lori plays hey lori hey sorry about that i um oh, hit the right. wrong button and started streaming um solo <laughs> to my channel for there a couple of minutes i'm like well, un problema un momento por favor so <laughs> How was it uh, getting to meet Nat and Tony and uh, a lot of the other folks that came down for the... Natalie uh, and Tony are amazing. They're so sweet and so supportive of what we're doing. So supportive yeah. of us. And, and uh, Natalie's just funny. She's so naturally funny. She really good. is. She, uh, Tony's lovely. They were just lovely people, yeah. It was that's awesome. She likes I to protest. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah, that was one of the things I noticed where it seemed like of the folks that were coming down there, there was only just a few of them that were actually getting over there and protesting with you guys. Yeah. So Natalie yeah. had her sign on and she stood right by the light, right by the street, and she did not move. And she yelled at everyone that went in there. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. She, uh, yeah, she looks like uh, got someone trying to challenge you for the uh, the pipes down there, Lori. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> no she's not that loud she's just no, okay. uh she's just uh spunky she's spunky <laughs> can we oh. invest can we like do a gofundme for dustin to get some kind of a, a light please? well i uh, added a light i got a light this time <laughs> no we're gonna we're gonna get you a good one face, honey for your face I I, uh, I, nice uh, I saw this really excellent YouTube video a uh, night before last on how to uh, live stream on a budget, and I and I have lots of notes, so I'm working on that. This is my second. It's good that you it, but you right. need some lights. Who's the idiot no, who I gave like that video out? I, I had an ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> I like the disco ball. Yeah, I, I'm, See, John, I told you. <laughs> I don't mind the disco that's ball. Disco. Wow, that's if you're just going to figure out how to balance your lighting a little bit, I got to check mine real quick. My goodness. It uh, looks like a disco ball from here, and it's really cool. That's my, uh, that's better. That's my uh, comfortably numb ball. That's my Pink Floyd ball. <laughs> Yeah, I made oh, that in the new studio. You go to so. the concert on you go to you go with me on Sunday. You'll you'll know. I'm trying to get Cheryl to come with me to a concert on Sunday. What? Uh, who's playing? Brit Floyd. Is Dude. that one of those tributes? Yeah, that's a Pink Floyd tribute band that's all over PBS playing at Red Rocks all the time. Oh, okay. They're excellent. It's it's the modern day Pink Floyd. They're one of the greatest shows going right now i want to see perfect circle or um oh what was the band uh that uh they started before that um uh, you're talking about the tool. reggae stuff tool <laughs> tool you, you know the band tool, tool? I yeah to i saw I saw a tour uh the Wait, Pepsi. Are they, new? Was are they well, a different the band? Singer went over to the band Perfect Circle. They had a bunch of um it was some crazy, you know, slap type lawsuits that were brought against them. So the band had to go on hiatus and the lead singer went over and, and fronted the band uh Perfect Circle. And they were they had a lot of really good stuff that came out with Perfect Circle. They were best known for a song that they had in the uh the the Constantine movie with um, Keanu Reeves. Oh, I did not movie. know any of that. Yeah, it was What's a good movie. A good movie. What's that, Lori? That was an excellent movie. Oh yeah, yeah. I huge fan of that one. Uh, I, I tell you what, to me, the my favorite part is the scene towards the end where uh, Lucifer comes down to visit John himself. That was just a that was an awesome way they played off of all that. So. Didn't care for the TV show as much, but the uh, the movie was awesome. So, all right. So we got some things we're planning on. We're not going to give out dates or anything like that, but um, we're all planning on making a run to L.A. here pretty soon. How's everybody LA. feeling about that? We're all going to L.A. Out so there in excited. L.A. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. You got More the, uh, the Clearwater Crew. Thin board. 
Oh, I need to get one of them. <laughs> oh, I see what that is. <laughs> it's on I there. Know, I need to get one of those so I can start marking those silly places I've been. Yeah, absolutely. I need a globe. So yeah. But yes, LA. We all we're going to LA. Oh, and one. we're going. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> there you go. And uh, some mischief should ensue. Oh, yeah. With us and the LA protesters, I, I I'm really looking forward to that uh, we'll get Lori and Laura FM together out there and let them just Heck sing yeah. that building down. Yes, for the heck yeah. I was yeah. I was uh, weary about going out to LA, but now that if I'm going with you guys, I'm I don't have a worry in the world because you know LA is a little kind of sketchy if you're not there it is not all my the time. Kind of place. i'm not i'm not afraid now one of the days i'm gonna to have to run down to oc real quick for whoever wants to come with me <laughs> okay we because we need yeah we need to go down to oc real quick just to spend the day and do some things and then but i yes. wanted to run up to my um where my grandmother's house was and i was telling john about this that there's a uh, a museum that I used to give tours when I was a kid, and I would love to go visit that museum. It's nice. uh, it's a uh, his name's William S. Hart, and it's a museum, and it's his house. And he was one of the very first silent movie stars, and uh, he donated to his house when he passed away to the county of L.A. to uh, to give back to the people that he. Uh, paid their nickels and dimes to see his movie, so it's full of historic Navajo oh. Indian rugs and and uh, nice uh, a bunch of paintings, and it's rare, very cool. So I'd love to do that. Where's that? What city is that in? That's in Newhall, California. Oh, and that's Newhall. where my okay, mother that's, grew up. That's near the valley, and, right? It, yeah, it's yeah. it's Saugus and Valencia. Uh, My daughter San, way, San yeah. Fernando Valley, yes. Yeah. And uh, what else is there? Uh, uh, well, there's, there's the beach, there's Venice. We could go to Venice and do some live streaming from there. It's hilarious. Some of the people you can see there on the. <laughs> yeah, there's some unique acts running around out there. That's for sure. Yeah, that's just right outside of LA there. So that's not bad. Have to see that's Santa, over in Santa Clarita yeah. area, right? Oh, Santa Monica, yes. yeah. The Hollywood sign. Santa Clarita, yes. Oh, oh my God, yeah. We got to go up to the um, Doodly Bob, the, uh, the observatory. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. And then you just walk over to the sign from there. But it's gorgeous yeah. up there. Yeah, you have a beautiful view of LA, even the smog. You can see the smog <laughs> just perfectly delineated <laughs> against the, the ocean. It's oh, gorgeous up there. Is that where Believe the Hollywood me. sign is? Yeah, you go up there first, and then you go. If you have to drive down, there's one particular road as you're going up to the observatory. It's not too far from there. You just kind of zip through there, and you're on the sign. I've always wanted to go to the sign, so if we can actually do that, that yeah. would be great. Well, I'm looking at looking for it right now. We'll go to the uh, satellite view so we can. There we go. I want to meet right. Tori Magu so bad. I know if we can meet, oh my God, if I meet Tori, I'm going to fangirl really hard. I, I, I so got a list of streamers out there. I wish to meet like DOA and Streets LA and Jacob Harkey and Tori Love and Laura FM and Serge. And I yeah. just hope to meet them yeah, all. See? It's not I, far. No, not at all. Sorry. There we go from the and backside. You just kind of nice. sneak on over there. You just kind of sneak on over and you go take pictures real quick. And now you see the allowed, views. Mm -hmm. Not allowed to get up close to it, are you? Well, you know, they've got some things fenced off, but you can squeeze through. It's fine. Everyone does the it. Squilly Wabbit could figure it out. Yeah. Absolutely. Here it is. You got two retired cops getting advice from Cheryl on how to trespass. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be fine. We'll take a 12 pack up there. <laughs> if I, I dress up like a squirrel, so they'll think I'm splitting. just a big squirrel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, let's see. Psych on the rocks. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, we're not giving the dates or anything out like right now, but uh, 
we're all planning a combined trip. We're going to join together. The Fantastic Four are going to be hitting the LA scene, trying to, we're going to meet up with the uh, Squirrel Squad out there and a lot of the great content people we got going on. So it's going to be, uh, going to be a great time. Four. Yeah. What's that? I think we should be the Fantastic Four. Then we have, don't have to do that PH thing. Yeah, yeah we, we can do that. Vote. Yeah. Let's vote. I'm John's like, no, uh, y'all. I've already made the. I've already made the the, the make icon. The <laughs> we are what we are. <laughs> hey, I'm just a rookie on this force. I just go with you guys. Well, you got a voice too, bad, don't you? Hey, I changed yeah. the light. Is it a little better? Uh, we no. Still in the dark. I'm going to do a stream light now, you guys. It is a little better, yeah. I know. I get, I get cheap ones for like twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, I've got those two lights you told me, Poe, in my in my cart and my Amazon thing. So I'm gonna send off awesome. those. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I I just uh, this is the first time I've used the uh, the new studio, so I'm just getting ready to uh, get things rolling with it. But uh, I figured Where's I might Chad? as well. Uh, Chad's working. He's in the chat. I saw him just a little bit ago. I see him in chat. But, okay, yeah, if anyone's he, uh, in OC, sorry, we will I, I we will do a meetup in, in, in Laguna real quick, okay, in the canyon. If okay. I've seen sorry, I'm seeing some people. If we're in OC, we gotta do a meetup of whoever in Orange we County. We might be adding more days because yeah, yeah, we might have to. We're fitting in a lot, so we might have to. Oh, add Kelly's here. Sorry, Kelly. John. Hi, Kelly. Oh, y'all, oh, Kelly is oh, so Kelly, what's going on? Hey. So sweet. Kelly, Kelly was like the real star. I love her. R ripping it in the Vermont right Eric. now. Well, we never we didn't get to do any karaoke or anything, Kelly. I'm sad. Mm. sad we didn't Next get time. to sing together. Next time. Absolutely love her. Absolutely love her. She's well, maybe I'll come to London. A okay. It was well, nice to have the another Brit around. <laughs> oh, I see how it's gonna be now. We're getting with that stuff again. Oh, <laughs> yes no la is going to be absolutely rocking it's going to be so cool so oh, i want to yeah. go to la poubelle too well, yeah we yeah. got to go to so we got to definitely get over there and uh make our voices be heard with the, that group That's well yes. danny and leah were very welcoming to us um we went Thank out so just like when you and chad were here we came out with you guys your last night and um, they had one more night, and I wanted to make sure that they had the Clearwater crew out with them. So Cheryl and and um, awesome. and Cheryl and I were out there. Dustin, I, I know Dustin's out there a lot. So and Erica, oh, yeah. of course, and Erica, yeah. How, uh, so how many we nights are you guys doing? There? On average, how many nights are you guys doing out there? Well, for me, it's been a bit erratic. Now it's gonna, I'm gonna be out there a little more. Obviously, um, I've okay. just got to take care of stuff. But um, usually, Laurie goes out. Days. I just did five days straight, so that bumped my average up. But once <laughs> a week, easily, you know, we're yeah. out there at least once a week. So with it's, three you know, of us for... out there once a week, that's three days yeah. out of seven. Though. And right. Erica's out there. Five days a week at a minimum. Yeah. Wow. Eric is not stop out there. I told when when we were when we went to lunch with Natalie and the the crew that were there that day. Um, I told her it may where it may have been the the Saturday night thing. One of those two days, I told her I said, you know, I feel bad for Erica because she works harder than all of us. She's out there f at least five days a week for like three, four, five hours at a shot when we're usually wow. done within two hours. And, um, but because she, I mean, she does have a website in Scientology.org. That is her oh, website. Wow. And, she, but she's, you know, she's queen of sign tech and um, yeah. she's the most committed, but because she doesn't have a YouTube channel and doesn't have that recognition, right? nobody knows about her really. So I I had mentioned this to um, to uh, Natalie, and then after I guess it was Wednesday night, after I got home, I looked and I tried to click on my monetization tab, and instead I clicked on clips, 
Mm. And Natalie had clipped her uh, Sciento pivot that Erica did. So, yes. and I, I, I took a picture of it and I sent it to Erica. I said, guess who's going to be on Natalie's show in the morning? And Natalie even mentioned how hard she works and she's out there every day for hours. And I was so happy. And it's, you know, just to give, give Erica that boost because she's, you know, she's a very welcome member of our team. And right. because she doesn't have a channel, you know, that people don't, people don't know about her as, as much. It's nice. Uh, that's so one of the things I like about too. Natalie. Uh, yeah. Erica is mm -hmm. so brilliant with what she says. She has all the information stored upstairs, yes. which is tough for me. Yes. She's such a good speaker. I so think she should go live, but she just doesn't want to. No, she doesn't. She has a very eloquent way of getting the message across briefly and succinctly. She does it so well. Whoever comes to talk to her, she just has a very, very, I'm talking about you, Erica. She has a really good way of talking to people. She's so good and engaging. She knows how to engage people too. She's very smart. Love her. That's awesome. Absolutely. Uh, her and I and are just working. We were out there <laughs> swatting cars in the middle of the street. Wasn't that right, Erica? Well, you should have saw her. She was out there just stopping cars, looking at my information. <laughs> if you believe that, there was actually four helicopters uh, over us during the swatting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's Hi, Erica. Erica. Yeah, she's there. in the... She's in the chat. Seriously, She's guys, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we are a good team. We are a good team. We definitely are. Um, yeah. Well, the big thing is, is that uh, we all try oh, to be. Lou, you are. <laughs> I know. I love Lou. I love you, Lou. I do. I love you. I mean, you've got a girlfriend and all. It's not like that. I just love you. I just need you. To <laughs> and Lori, I just sent you the new, uh, the new uh, picture for you, so. Over on Facebook. Did you? Did, did what? Did, okay, let me see what you did. Uh, the Fantastic Four. Hey, yeah. that's just you know. I'm just throwing out an idea. I do like Fantastic hey. Four. Actually, no I, it's funny that. that you said that because I, I thought of that too. I was like, we should be something because we're so much fun together. That Fantastic right. Four, and yeah. then we're not like robbing that. something in Hollywood. I like that. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just trying to check who all's in here. Did you guys see um, Perth Scientology is going to join me Sunday night? Yes. She's doing good stuff. Email back and forth with them and, uh, you know, just try to get things lined up. So we're going to go nine o'clock instead of the regular eight o'clock time. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I know they're 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 nervous about it. They've never done an interview before. Like I told them, it's just it's just a conversation. Don't worry about any of the crazy stuff or any of that. We're just here to have conversation and, and right. everything on a friendly level. So let's see. Just here. Keep Check it. things out. Definite trouble source is Erica. Everyone's looking for Erica in the chat. Oh, Definite okay. Erica. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was just about to ask. So there we oh. go. There I you go, folks. There's Erica. Like that. Yeah. So. There I am. Uh, we got we got a we got a spell of fantastic four with a P H U N fun. <laughs> Just got away from the P H. So <laughs> I like I like the P H. Who's my character? Though? What are my superpowers? I need to know. What am um, I? Who am I supposed to be? feisty able to get into small places so <laughs> that's me because <laughs> we've got well, we, you all, we all know who dustin's character is but we don't know who our characters are <laughs> <laughs> he's the hulk right well we, uh, we need something more more of a village people thing he's like <laughs> <laughs> isn't isn't that character called some village thing people character, like John. oh the thing is it yeah I think, all right, got to look up the Fantastic Four characters. Yeah, I need I'm to know good. what my superpowers are. I know I didn't get them through being OT anything. 
Let's see. There is. Um, I don't know which one you would be. Let's see. Four characters. Is that one that's obnoxious or just? <laughs> okay, Ben Grind. Yeah, he's the thing. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, yeah. Is that the thing made of rocks? It's not the Hulk, is right. it? It's made of right. rocks or stones Rock. or something. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Susan yeah, Storm. I, I get a big beefy character. <laughs> okay, Susan Storm can go invisible. I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. All right. I like to make myself small. <laughs> I'm a little you bit confused have... because I searched Fantastic Four and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's like the I think they're I mean what the Black Panthers coming up that's just a completely different group of people. <laughs> so oh, so I can pick and choose. Yeah, really. Who's the one that no one can touch? At Rogue, if they touch her, they die or something. That's I want to be that oh, one. I have no idea. <laughs> wow, <laughs> no intimacy cravings there. I don't to be honest, me. I've never heard of the Fantastic Four until I Googled it uh, earlier today. I know is <laughs> one of them's like a rubber. Guy. I think it's the guy who's the leader. Doesn't he like stretchy, Mister Stretchy? He's like rubber. Yeah, I think that's Reed Richards. And then you've got uh, the thing is Benjamin Grimm. Mm -hmm. That's the rock guy. The Invisible Woman is Susan Storm. So, I like the name. That's okay, who is the, who is the other woman though? Because there's aren't there two guys and two girls? No, they that I had to cut it up because there's only the there's the oh. three guys and the one the one female. So, so and that's one, why I'm a head without a body. You are oh you got a body. It's just the way that that the, <laughs> trying to get them all to fit in there had to okay. be uh, scrunched in. Well, thank goodness uh, I have a body. You're you're a storm also, and a Human Torch is what you are. Ooh, so, that's a good one yeah. though too. Yeah, burning all oh, those like Satan's. So fire. yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, I'm you're some fire. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Cornholio. So, has have you guys noticed any <laughs> upsweet in activity around uh, Flag and Fort Harrison since everybody had came in last weekend, or did it seem Wednesday like they just shut everything was Dead. Really? It was so dead Wednesday night. <laughs> and it? tonight being yeah. uh, graduation night, security was on big time high alert today. So there was a lot of security out there. They were probably watching for the and chalk then, uh, techers. Yeah. I bet. Say, yeah. Well, I they mean, they got too many cameras. How are they going to miss anything? That's for sure. <laughs> I just stayed in front of the Presbyterian church and just kind of hollered at them yelled at people well you I know that's one place you're going to be welcome so that's for sure right they're nice there they're really nice very nice really really like on the rocks uh thank you yeah it's it's not as it's not as tough as you think i mean i'm i'm a 55 year old retiree and i'm learning as i go the big thing is is don't be afraid to ask questions and everybody is willing to help you know everybody has their own expertise but a lot of this stuff is real basic in, in what you're doing. And like I said, don't jump in feet first. Just build build it as you go. The uh, The more that you do, the more you're going to learn with it. You're going to find out what's the best equipment for you, the best ways of doing things. You know, I'm I'm back at ground zero here with the new studio. So I'm, I'm learning <laughs> how to, how I want my lighting and everything to go and, and making up the pieces. And, you know, it's going to change over time as it goes too. So, you know, don't worry about it. You got the fire and ice guitars behind you. It looks yeah. very and a mountain. That looks really well, cool. You didn't well, have that the other day. <laughs> well, what I did, well, this is a completely different room. And so what I did was I, ah! I that Sorry. that crazy laser that I've got, I was able to go in there and you know make a pattern that looks like uh mountain silhouettes. And I just put it on the laser, cut it out of cardboard and brought it down here and the wife painted it all in and we okay. used three different okay. stages of gray so oh. yeah, it's just, just a matter of time i'll have everything up and ready to go it's just uh 
you know, I'd Very moved everything down here and there was no way I was going to be able to try to do a live from the, the old office. So I figured we might as well just go ahead and debut it tonight. Let's I see. like it. And Casillas, thank you for being here with you. Thank so, you, Ann. Yeah. And Terry gifted five Yay. memberships. So everybody make sure you say thank you to Terry. Yay. Thank, thank you, Terry. Terry. That's so thank cool. I, I love yeah, it when I see you. that. Is that the Thank Terry we met the other Terry. night? I met a Terry the other night, and I'm just wondering. <laughs> Is that you, Terry? You're not thinking of Carrie, are you? Carrie with no, the, no. With I the met a Terry. Uh, okay. How much did you have to drink at the time, Cheryl? I met a Terry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be the real <laughs> question: like Is that. how many proper pints of Guinness had did Cheryl have before that? So. <laughs> I only had one gin and tonic, and I think it was a double. I didn't ask for a double. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was quite you happy on Saturday night. That. <laughs> you say, every time we talk, you're like, I didn't ask for a double, but I got doubles. <laughs> I, I, I think that your memory is just slipping, slipping the more doubles you're taking. So. Maybe. <laughs> Y'all looking really good and green over there. Thank you very much, Terry. Oh, yeah. Let's Rock. see. Gary, I'll have that. I'll have that poster back up, and the uh, the wall washer wow. LEDs came in. Um, I'm just setting up the brackets. I'm cutting new custom brackets for them out of uh, uh, Lexan, so I can mount them properly the way I want them on the walls and everything. But they came <laughs> in, and you know, they are bright. So. And says, see. "Yeah, we can, uh, uh, awesome." Uh, compared to the other night when you were telling us or uh, explaining how to do live streams on a budget you were showing your boom on your microphone and tonight now we can actually see that spring that you were talking about how it's a spring yeah. mechanism and we couldn't see it the other night but tonight we can we can see your whole mic boom now looks a lot like mine boom oh, oh. 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 oh Cheryl's there you go. What mic are you using? got the high uh, dollar stuff. It's good. For sure. For sure. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just well, didn't want to. Uh -huh. I didn't want to drop the money oh, on a shore till I was. Box. I knew I was ready <laughs> for it. And a good friend of mine, he uses the uh, the road mics exclusively. The uh, for his uh, when he's doing out content out with his GoPro and everything, mm -hmm. and then he uses the road pot mic, and, and I really like it. I'm I'm pretty happy with the sound, and I I like the look of it. So. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, as that's long as it that's works. 90% of what I use. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I use. That's basically all you need. When, you when I'm out. A gimbal, and... waiting to show yep. Cheryl how to use it. <laughs> Since her and I, I have the same gimbal now. There you go. And, and like I said, everything that you do, there are a thousand videos out there on how to do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope. Terry says that wasn't them. Right. So. The, the green box says Terry gifted five Lori plays memberships. That's there so cool. Unless there's two That's Terry's. So cool. Yeah. Um, no, that looks like the same one. So I made those stickers. I got new stickers, but they're different. I don't like these as much. They're not, they're just a square SPTV sticker now. Oops. Uh, there you go. Oh, there. <laughs> now we can see those other stickers. So I'm going to try and do those other ones again. I like those better. Yeah. I know. I love stickers. Those I'm are such cool, a though. <laughs> that that's, still gives us something to hand out, and I just love handing exactly. out stuff. It, right. So I'll if, give if you a chance to uh, acknowledge us and we ch chat and whatever, even just oh, yeah. seeing what we're doing. If they just stop and are interested, I like to give, have them have something to take with them. And then next thing you know, they're going to be right here in our chat room. So exactly. I love exactly. handouts. Swag. Lori, uh, uh, Laura Waldy uh, gifted five memberships. So if you got one from Terry or from Laura, the one from uh, Terry was on uh, Lori's channel. So if you got one of those memberships, make sure you, you show them some love and uh, tell them you appreciate it. Uh, I know there's a lot of folks, I get a lot of emails, people asking about being members and they just, they can't afford it. That, you know what, folks, you're here. That's the big thing is yeah. your support by being here, hitting that like button, you know, spreading the word. That is all 
it, that's that's just as important. But uh, th for those who do gift the memberships, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Hanratty says your stickers are awesome. Can I order them from Scotland? You want some? Hit me up. Send me an email. I'll send you some. <laughs> well, put your email in there so everybody knows. Feral Cheryl well, on the loose. In June. We're we're about sorry. Maybe I could bring you some. Oh, that's right. Maybe Laurie Laurie's going to Scotland in June. Maybe she can bring them to you with a little Ooh, body that'd be thing. Awesome. <laughs> but my email is feral Cheryl on the loose at gmail.com. So yeah, just send me an email and uh, and we'll we'll sort that out. Oh, oh, that'll be Anna, cool, Laurie. That <laughs> Anna Flaxis is asking if Dustin is a retired law enforcement officer also. No, I'm on the other side of the fence. I'm uh, I used to follow the Grateful Dead. <laughs> so I'm a longtime musician. That's, a, that's so funny. You know, that, that's the thing is, is that, yeah, um, Lori and I have a have a unique perspective from uh, being law enforcement uh, retirees. We've we've seen you know the big transitions and all that, but you know, we're still people outside of that as well. I mean, I'm yeah, I have always been one of those who I'm, you know, I'm what they would call the alternative kind of set. I like, uh, you know, the heavy metal concerts and, you know, but I also went to the, uh, the psychedelic furs concerts. I saw Susie and the Banshees more times than I can, than I can count. <laughs> so, you know, it's, that's the thing. I, I and just, out, of, out of all of us too, I'm the only one not retired. <laughs> Um, I'm oh yeah, that's employed. true. Yeah, you're still working. <laughs> I'll be yeah. in Edinburgh. I'll be in Edinburgh at some point. Man, that would be cool to audit Edinburgh. Yeah. Um, I've I got, wonder what my uh, friend that I'm traveling with would think about that, though. Andras, are you in Fife? Are you still living in Kirkcaldy? Oh, we got <laughs> we got retired Red in there. He's one of my favorites. Hello, Red. Hello. Hello, Rick. Hey, Red, if you if you can get to Thank LA, um, so cool. when we settle things, I'll email you when we're going to be there. If you want to, if you want to go, yeah, I'll hook you up. It's, it's going to be a good time. Uh, you know, it's I, it's probably been thirty some years since I've been out there to LA, so it's going to be really? interesting to see how much how much different it is now. So yeah, it's changed quite a bit. Yeah, I was actually stationed That's in Wachita, Arizona. Small hogs, right? Small hogs. Mulholland. We got we got to do Sunset That's Strip, go by the they... rainbow and all that stuff. Yes. We yes, got to do definitely. all the things. All the yes. things. We still have to all work in some auditing while we're there, but we have to do all the right. things. I can't wait to go to the blue building. Oh, oh my I have to find God. the blue building. I, I believe Chad is on Sunset Strip. Chad, who? Well, I think, I think the blue I building is on Sunset Strip. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. on L. Ron Hubbard Way in between yeah, uh, Fountain Avenue people. and and uh, Sunset Boulevard. Who's Chad wow. Everett? He has a store? Chad Everett. I've had a crush on Chad Everett since I was like three. And he was like my parents' age, so he is he is past. But I've met him in person, and he's an awesome dude. There was a there was a, a medicine a medical show on back in the late sixties, early seventies called Medical Center. Hmm. Doctor Joe Gannon. Oh yeah, look him up. He was a hottie. <laughs> Never heard of him. So was he an American actor? Yeah. Um, oh heck, Miss Sunrise Dawn, for sure come to Clearwater. We'll we'll show you around. Yeah, we're good at that. We've discovered. <laughs> Hopefully, I have my boat running. We could do a, a trip out on the boat. That sounds fun. Is that what you're talking about, Lori? On a boat trip. Oh, yes, I know, wouldn't it? <laughs> look at it. Look at that. Oh, honey, you can put the stethoscope right here, baby. Oh, that's him. <laughs> Don't say it like, oh, that's him. Say it like, oh. I, re I remember that show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And Terry had a huge crush on him, too. So, Chitza, hey, I'm not even getting notifications for my own channel. So, you know, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but this whole notification thing with YouTube has just gone wonky lately. So, yeah. 
you are 2D flowing. Um, well, except that it sounds really kind of gross when you're talking about a deceased individual. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, yeah. And the thing is, though, I met, I had the opportunity to have breakfast with he and his wife many years ago. And when you have idolized someone for like decades and you become an adult and you get the opportunity to spend time with them and find out they're just a really good guy, just good yeah. people, man, that's, that's about here. This guy was on television and when his daughters started taking up ice skating, they wanted to be figure skaters. He had them rent skates until he knew they were going to stick with it. So he's wow. not one of these, yeah. you know, he wasn't one of these Hollywood, oh, yes, I'll give you my right. baby, you do anything you want. You know, he, he taught, like, you know, normal values and things. And yeah, awesome. yeah that's very cool. And, and it's, I know we kind of diverted that um, conversation right. <laughs> to my, to my youthful crush. But uh, yeah, I have to find his star. Oh, his star. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right. oh, yeah. We got to do the. We got to do the stars, the Walk of Fame down there. Yeah. And yeah. Terry, thank you for gifting those ten memberships. That's awesome. And I see everybody's thanking you. So that's that's great. So yeah, make sure if you got one of those memberships, you uh, you let Terry know how much you appreciate it. Terry's yeah, there's so much we got to see. So, I mean, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty interesting being being out there and actually getting to see these things. You know, there's so much that I never. When I was out there, I was stationed in Huachuca, Arizona, and we took the, uh, they were called MAC flights, Military Air Command, mm -hmm. and they were $25, fly you anywhere in the world you wanted to. And so we flew up to LA and went and spent a weekend up there, and I'm just I'm just wondering how much different it's going to be than it, than it was back then. It's changed quite a bit. It's going to yeah. be a lot different, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 Same buildings, just different attitudes and everything. The last time I was out, out there was my grandmother's funeral and i was 25 then so that was like 30 years ago 94 i want to say closest i've been is san Fran. well i was going to say san francisco but i went down to monterey so that's as close as i've been to la oh monterey so gorgeous yeah it's yes. nice yeah it's gonna it's gonna be interesting you know there's there's a lot of things that we got to check out while we're there I, uh, you know, one of the sad things for me is, is that, you know, going down there to like, uh, the rainbow or something like that. And Lemmy won't be, Lemmy's no longer around just hanging out by the jukebox there at the, at the bar. That's the one that's Lemmy from Motorhead. So mm -hmm. you should just go in there and sit down. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Grandma. I, and I got your email, grandma. I'm going to be, uh, responding pretty soon here. I definitely pinks is one of the ones that I've got to hit. So. Yeah, if you guys don't know about them, Pink's is it's like the Nathans of L.A. So, yeah, real good. big name. They've been there forever. Let's see, but you know, one of the things I'm trying to um, trying to get put together now is I want to I want to get a drone for doing. Me too. This. Yeah. I want a drone. To, I want a DJI drone. Yeah. Yep. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yes. That's what I want. That sounds really fun. You know, I mean, think about it. Like at the Fort Harrison, they've got those walls, they've got all those things set up. But you're, you know, you send the drone up, and next thing you know, you're getting all the footage that you want. So, and I you know, don't see can't. it being illegal to fly your drone over that neither. I think you could probably fly right up to that building. You know what would be interesting? Dr uh, drone clubs are big out here. I'm surprised there aren't people oh. already. Uh, they probably right. are. We just haven't seen them. But you know, what would be interesting is hanging a sign from it with the SPTV Foundation <laughs> information on it. <laughs> Fly that right over the before Harrison. So I definitely want to make some uh, cards to hand out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's uh, uh, I, a big I, sign that says Zenu hanging from the drone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, you're. <laughs> We can hang a little green body Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah, throw him up. Put DCA on the side. I'm not using my mic, so I took my guy off. No, oh, I love that. 
That's great. awesome. You look so much right. like Laura. He looks just like me and y'all. Yeah. Side by side. You can't tell which is the real one and which is the body thing. Oh, Laura. Our our it's I can't believe you gave that up there. I it's thought you were going to hang be. on to that one for sure. So, I'm going to pull this little guy down for now. As that was a favorite one, Mark. Laurie. Maybe. I'm making you one next, Dustin. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got to, got to make him one with a sombrero. Use this hat. <laughs> there you oh, go. oh, there see, we go. I've already got a cowboy hat for him. Yeah, exactly. I've already got your cowboy hat. That's huge. And that's, um, yeah. It makes uh, the light like up Lori my face. Cool. It kind of brings the slide in. <laughs> well, if you it tilt it all the way up. down, I think that it's going to work out all that right there that's bothering it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a tattoo. It just covers up the the beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. That's lovely hat. Ah, it hurts my head. It's small. DOA looks like yeah, the devil like tonight. Wood. New outfit. Oh, oh really? Yeah. That. That's funny. Let's see here. That boy keeps getting slapped. They yeah, must stop slapping him. Happened again. Like, See, leave him alone. Her, uh, night before last, it happened again. Yeah. yeah. He's just sitting there, and the guy just comes over and starts meh, meh, right across Smack the face. Him. Another guy took and another guy took his phone. Yeah. So yeah, confident Chris got that footage right up close and personal. Good. So did. These people better not. He's just man. a magnet for abuse, isn't he? Oh, he is blessed. Uh, I don't know what's up with this guy. He's acting kind of. Oh, he's on something. Stuff. He's on something. Oh, that is that is math. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a good dancer. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's bobbing his knees before the punches are started. Now I'm in Santa Monica, LA. Somebody Look chat him. Free him live. Like nine, nine okay. DOA. Oh, DOA is awesome. <laughs> What's his hat say? <laughs> Let's see. He, he loves that stuff, don't he? Oh, yeah. To him, this is all real content. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in his chat right now. All right. Any day in LA is good content, though. Every day I've been up in Hollywood, I have met someone famous. I am a content king. If you have not figured that the fuck out, what's his hat say? You won't find this on cable TV. Trying to read it. Let's see. West. Don't do drugs. Drugs do you. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Well, you go. You go. Bell, I don't know. <laughs> Psychology security camera with a skateboard. Really? This is Ooh. this is real life, Ed. You can't do this. What was that? I don't fucking know. I, I just posted it. It was channel. like, oh, he's spitting some type of <laughs> mixture between poetry and rap, and telling a story about his day to day like a folk singer. But he did like the street style on crack. <laughs> And that was some good <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> oh, Damn. Now you, I wasn't now you see why we're watching this for so many hours a day. Funny. I tell you. I, you oh. know, I thought he was so much younger. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you get him out in the daylight. He looks a little older. Right. <laughs> yeah. Who, DOA? Poetry. Yeah. yeah. His story. And rap all together. It's got to be in his mid thirties. He might be in his early. Yeah, I, think, 40s. I think he's in his early thirties. I would I say yeah. early thirties. My guess would be yeah. 32, 33. Yeah. Well, everybody's <laughs> saying to say hi to you guys as well. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that old van life thing going on there. <laughs> they just got a whole conversation going on in the chat. <laughs> yeah. I see I see a hypo in Lori. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like a monk. Hypo. Yeah. A devil monk. Yeah, I love or something. You, sir. Outfit. Every day, I bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Angry red minivan guy. 
See, you can tell the ones who go to Burning Man, we're the ones wearing all the weird stuff. <laughs> we're the ones that dress up. Laurie says, squirrel onesie? I'm like, in a second, yes. Ordered yeah, it already. <laughs> There's, I, I have no qualms about putting on a devil costume or anything like that. I got my uh, got my Admiral's uniform ready to go, so when we hit Good, LA. Yes. Dustin, what are you wearing? I need Don't you guys to dress me up, I guess. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to get you like a little sea orgy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one of the. Th I wanted one of those light blue sea org vests with the shirt that's down in the. I mean, where can we get one of those? Where can we get one of those? We we need some old sea org. What, do, they don't take this stuff to the goodwill, do they? <laughs> I don't think a, they do. No. Oh, just I don't blue slacks, blue this. vest, and a white shirt, and come up with a. A scarf. It'll it'll look close enough. <laughs> yeah, we should see Orgy out definitely. I do want to get yeah. an admiral's hat. Yes, so the guy who attacked um, uh, attacked Denver. What was what was what was he wearing? Oh, the guy he was wearing the uh, the tan color, like the sandcastle uniform. Mm. It's yeah. the tan. It's the same stuff, but it's in tan. It's just in a different color. Yeah. And they yeah. are the hospitality people. They don't deliver services. They're, they're in like the hotels, you know, they take care of stuff oh, in the hotel. Okay. So yeah. that, that's what Aaron told me. Yeah, that, that color um, uniform is hospitality. There we go. It would, it would uh, be cool to get mask some of those little wavy baby. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I happen to know folks one of the guys was on that that show the the contest where they were building the masks and makeup for the uh, mm -hmm. for like the haunted houses and horror movies one of those guys lives about 15 miles south of me i know him really? and i i'm gonna have to get hold of him and see if we can get him to do us up a wavy davy mask that would be pretty interesting <laughs> really cool <Sounds> hot. <laughs> oh he's top not uh, let's see. Uh, Cookie Brightwell, I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. I know you're doing a great job. I oh, thank you. letting it's letting cool. Lori and Cheryl come up with the ideas for it. I think it's going to be pretty crazy. Um, and Terry says it was a gold <laughs> vest. So yeah, it looked like yeah. it was just um, you know black uh, slacks, a white shirt, and then uh, that gold or is it golden rod vest? That he was wearing. Oh well, no, because he wouldn't be wearing goldenrod, or he wouldn't be there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> so. Goldenrod is the opposite of being there. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. Now I know here in Clearwater, you distinguish the tan-colored uniforms. Those are the people that work at the Sandcastle, and that's the fancy schmancy hotel of theirs. Um, okay. Oh, uh, see, you can do that, huh? Mine. I don't. Because yeah, I'm on an I'm, apple. Well, right, that's see, not. that's that's all those falls you took at Burning Man that are causing you not to, you know, you're losing the <laughs> mobility in your hands there. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring all my SPTV shirts. <laughs> oh yeah, Cookie, I get, I believe me, I get ideas every day of the week from people emailing me. So I know, and Gary, I got your uh, got your email. So thank you, sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, and Retired Red says she'll bring all of her SPTV shirts. So hopefully, uh, yeah, mine's, mine's going to be, I ordered mine from Fourth Wall, the uh, SPTV Foundation shirt. So I made sure to uh, get that ordered up. So when we get to LA, I'll have mine. There you go. So yeah, that's that's the one from my shop. It's from Laurie's shop. Hey, any wow. of them. I, you know, like I said, I'm not making a penny off mine. Every penny goes right to the SPTV Same. Foundation. I'm not, yeah. you know, so buy one, buy a million. It's all going to them. I, I am not getting a penny from it. Um, yeah. Let's see. And Grace Kelly's here. Thank you. Oh, um, we are well. This is I'm well, at least. Yeah. And now Sandcastle's where they deliver OT6 and 7. Yes, okay. that's where they do that. And that's the building right next to the where they have the events and all the Coachman ah, Park. Right the amphitheater. Right okay. yeah. yeah, the amphitheater it's is about, the concert two, stuff. about 300 feet from the, the stage of the sound. And they're supposed right. to have to have sound. very quiet to do very this. Quiet silence yeah. to be able to sit there and do auditing for like 12 hours at a time. 
I wonder how a drone with a speaker under it would do. <laughs> Could he carry one? I'm sure I've got Ooh, some wonder. of those little, I've got one of those Bluetooth speakers that's for like the shower where it just suction cups mm -hmm. to the wall. That thing doesn't weigh hardly anything and it's Bluetooth. Send that up over top of it and just start, you know, have a recording of Lori's Wavy Davy song playing on it. That would actually little drive him nuts. Baby Davy and his face face Navy. Little baby Davy and his face face Navy. Now, what's the most, what's the most um, harassment, whatever you want to call it, that you've gotten from, from Scientology down there in Clearwater? Like none, really. <laughs> Just they turn and walk away. They try to not yeah. be in our path. I had one guy the other day tell you do this to me and say, you know, it's crazy. I said, you're right. It is crazy that they have children in Scientology auditing grown adults. It is crazy. Yeah. You're right. So I just turned it around on him. Yeah. I, the, the only Amen. thing I've Honestly. had is there's security that tries to do a feeble intimidation and it just doesn't really work from across the street. Uh, that's about yeah. it. Just a simple run. intimidation, and I'm just like. I think we should we should do that. Have Cheryl dress up as Surrey. Oh, Mona Englund yeah. says that would be a great costume. Mess with Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, give me oh, a Surrey shit. face. I'll yeah. wear it. <laughs> I'll get a fake little Louis Vuitton bag and everything, and 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 like walk around like a like girl. <laughs> there you go. Daddy, uh, that would, Daddy, that you, would Daddy? be wild if she if she started doing SPTV stuff. That would be absolutely wild oh, if she did man. that. Man, are you kidding me? That would be the bomb. And Daddy, none of I us really has sending you. love and hugs to the Clearwater crew. Oh, oh, thank you, Marty. So, um, yeah, it's gonna yeah, be it's gonna right be the world. <laughs> I don't even know if I can even do that. Yeah. <laughs> I barely can. What? <laughs> Dustin does a peach for some reason. He does this. <laughs> he does, that's what I heard. That's a peach. He's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does look like Our hands peach. just aren't made that way. I mean, chips down. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, and and Red's got that right. LA is a different world than, uh, yeah. than Clearwater, so it's going to be interesting how that's going to go. Um, yeah. Yeah, Gary, I've, I already know the rules. Um, DJI makes a couple that are, number one, in the lower price range, but they also have, um, uh, they come in at the weight to where they don't have to be FAA certified or licensed for it. But I've already got my license as a drone from when I was with the, uh, the last police department I was with. So it's not very hard. It's just a few questions. Nice. That, that would be... I highly recommend if you get an expensive drone that actually know how to fly it. So having a license, that's impressive. Oh, so. These DJI drones are amazing. And you can literally just control them right with your phone. You can put in a pat a pattern that you want them to fly at and an altitude, press the button, and it goes and does it and comes right back to you. So, Jeez. oh, they're yeah, amazing. I don't want one. I don't want one. How what's yeah. the what's the cheapest you can spend on one that's decent? See, I don't know a whole lot about I know about the like DJI bucks. drones. But um let's see. You know, and I I really I I'm really leery of like a lot of them that you see on Amazon because they're you just don't know what the quality is. And uh oh, like I just I want DJI. Thinking, yeah, let's see here. I'm going to that. I'm going right now, and it's all a matter of which one you want to looking get into. At, but I want to look at eBay stuff. right now. They got a mini drone 339 uh, FPV for 595, 372. Let me get to it. Oh goodness, I hate these ones that have like 500 different little things. Um, well, it's not saying any, not saying what the price is. We'll look at this one. Good lord! Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't oh, know what that, that one's like. Was. A bomber drone. It's, that boy was thick. Look at that thing. It, it's twenty two hundred dollars. It's like a bomber. 
There we what go. The model mini, is that? That's one. John, what model is that? That's the uh, the the Mavic. But let's see. We'll do the uh, we'll go with the minis. Mavic and um, Mavic Pro. Let's see, Mini Two. Let's see. This is just showing three thirty. Yeah, you can get the uh, the Mini Two for two seventy nine, and then you can get the one with the expanded combo kit with the uh, extra batteries and everything. That's four twenty nine, and that's on the two. Um, hmm. The three starts at four nineteen. The three Pro is six hundred dollars. My goodness. And yeah, then Gary the three ninety nine is kind of the the break end point. Yeah, and that would they be you know the, the one right there. Nine hundred. They have a what? A two Pro for nine hundred on eBay. That's yeah, expensive. there's uh, that's a lot of moolah. Yeah, but you know, I I I have experience with the DJI's. I don't have experience with a lot of the others. Um, Let's see. If I'm paying two twenty two hundred for a drone, it better make dinner and clean the house. I agree. I agree. Yeah, we uh, totally. here's a here's a Maverick three Pro with a case twenty four twenty five. We're not spending that kind of money, Dustin. So bring your bring your your uh, searches down in price. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, you you're know, the, hey, I just gotta get a light. Man, if I'm spending the forty bucks on a light, you can get a thousand dollar drone. Come on, <laughs> Lord have mercy. But you know, like with me, I'll be using it not just for the uh, the Scientology stuff. I'll also be doing it for a lot of the travel stuff that I do as travel. well. So that's why I want it for travel. That'd be really cool. Yeah. You know, I'm really big about um, having things have two and three different uses. I don't, I don't like a lot of this yeah. stuff where people are going out and they're buying stuff and just using it for one thing. You know, and uh, like with my DIY stuff, I like a lot of the uh, reuse, recycle kind of stuff. And that's, uh, you know, we got we got too much waste as it is. Let's you know stop Absolutely. using single usage stuff. Yeah. So, especially like me, be... if you're getting ready to move into a tiny house. That has oh, to are be you? Insane. Oh, when I, when I sell this house, I'm going to build a tiny house. Yes. Let's we'll see. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Someone could do like a white girls or a Miss Doubtfire outfit to uh, infiltrate Scientology. Who is the loser? The girl with the accent would be good at it. Yeah, I would love to uh, do that. We should, we should, uh, uh, yeah, we could do Cheryl up like a librarian <laughs> and uh, little mousy librarian and everything. Uh, let's see, nice. Yeah, red. <laughs> I'm just now, are you going to get the one that's going to be basically a like a motorhome where you can just take it wherever you want to go, or are you going to have one that's permanently planted? Oh, uh, it'll be on wheels. Yeah, okay. but it's it's basically like house construction on a trailer. It's not yeah. metal like an RV. What? Yeah, yeah, those are those are pretty nice. I um, yeah, I helped a friend. He's got um, he did a house that is uh, storage containers, shipping containers. Mm -hmm. And I looked cool. at those too. They're just so narrow, yeah. though. I just uh, yeah. Yeah, and everybody say hi to Bobby Joe Kellogg with uh, Bobby Joe. Doing a lot of the auditing out Battle there in Battle Creek. Creek. Okay, yeah. so what are your subs up to now, Bobby Joe? Yeah, how you last doing, Bobby? I saw it was one, one, two, three, one, twenty-three. Uh, I saw Bobby Joe. I want to say today, and I noticed they subbed me, so that was cool. Yeah, nice. Yep. Yeah, boost Bobby Joe. That's boost awesome. Bobby Joe, one twenty-three. Yeah, good, good. That's up fifty five from the other night when we uh, when we uh, were first yep. talking about it. So that's great. I'm, uh, a, I'm only uh, nine away from four hundred. I'm getting there. There you go. There. there you go. I'm at three ninety one. Big time now. Oh, look at you, fancy <laughs> man. Mr. Fancy. I'll, yeah. I'll allow you to catch my hand when I see you next. <laughs> oh, wow. will you? Will you? Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what other things can we think up that we can? <laughs> uh, what other things can we think up that we can do while we're there? We got to make this uh, LA trip memorable. Something. Well, that's hey, uh, 
food. There's food to be eaten in LA. I need some tacos. Oh my god, I need some pollo. I need real today. Mexican oh, food, real bad. Oh yeah. If we're there yeah, long I mean, enough, we could uh, go to Anaheim and visit Disneyland. <laughs> I wish I had my silver no. card still safe. Well, if we go to Anaheim, I can get us uh, a timeshare. My mother's timeshare is in Anaheim. Wow. So I, I brought that hey. up. We can have a really nice place. Disney World? I mean, Anaheim. Disneyland? Yeah. I miss El no. Pollo Loco so bad. No, what was Disney that from? Girl. That was with the, um, that was uh, Adam Sandler and one of the Wayans brothers, where that was from. The Disneyland? Let's see. Dark Mark? <laughs> Dr. Mark in Texas, I'm still learning. Ask Lori, she knows, but may deny it on Fifth Amendment protection. Have to ask, is Xana do any relation to Xenu or is it just Olivia? Z J Z <laughs> Oh, Zenu, there you go. <laughs> Bobby Joe's at 124, guys. Let's we'll see if we can get Bobby Joe to 130 by the end of the stream. Yeah, yep. let's go. Let's Bobby Joe. Mark, people. Let's get a six That's squad. There for it, Erica. I am there Bat for it. Squirrel Squad is her channel. Oh, we've got to do some kind of um, uh, oh, Zenu. Oh, now, how are you doing all that? Because she's got a nice back. Oh, okay. Let's put a link in for her. I was like, what in the world? Um, but we got, um, yeah, we definitely got to do something like the, uh, you know, the scavenger hunt, the Xenu scavenger hunt while we're in L.A., Try to get up a you know have a list of things we got to do while we're there, and the one who gets them all done is the winner. Um, That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. That's good. I like that a lot. Let's see. And eat tacos. We got. What, oh we yeah, got we're definitely going to do that. <laughs> there you go. And who was Hello, it? Hello, um, boss. I see you. Yeah, not a boss. Uh, retired Red put it in the links there, so you can. Uh, uh, get over there. Make sure you get over and show uh, Bobby some love. She's out there in Battle Creek by herself doing this stuff. So make sure you're yeah. showing some love to him. Uh, let's see. Gary Mackey, I've been to Disney World. Don't bother I, with Disneyland. I've heard that, Gary. And yeah. I'm a I'm a Disney World pass holder. I'm over there at least once or twice a month. So you know, I, it's just that I just want to see. I would love to. One of my goals is to visit every Disney theme park. So there's Tokyo, well, there's Paris. Yep. You know, I and, made uh, my ex husband work at Disneyland because we had children and I wanted to get him for free because it was too expensive. So I made him work <laughs> there. So we had the silver pass. Yeah, that's <laughs> and excellent. I could just take the kids for one ride on Dumbo and a lollipop and go home. I didn't have yeah. to hang out the whole day. Oh, yeah. It was perfect. Yeah. And uh, Bobby Joe, we haven't, we aren't put, um, you know, get hold of me on on the email or on uh, Facebook Messenger. I'll tell you, but we're not putting it out there public yet because we don't want them being able to plan up for when we get there. So, right. and we're very early in the planning stages as well. Yeah. So, yes. yeah. Uh oh, up to one twenty seven now. Ooh, All right, way to go, way to go. Maybe I'll we'll have to push that to for each 40. other. Oh, find many streets. Yes, we have to find many streets. That, that's definitely <laughs> going to be on the scavenger list. <laughs> what is what is that thing that the uh, the younger people do where they have uh, a GPS location they have to go find stuff at? Geocaching. And geocaching. I'm a yeah. geocacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, are my, you? I've been doing that for years. Okay. My, yeah, my, kids my are geocaching name it. is Hello, Sweetie. Oh. Because I'm a Doctor Who fan. <laughs> Of course, oh, hello, I'm... sweetie. River pond, hello, river, sweetie. river. And my my, my uh, logo is a little TARDIS that I have made into a path tag. Yeah, Heck yeah. I'm. A, and oh, I'm a big. Is a geocacher as well. I, you know, I haven't done it regularly in a long time, um, but I think I'm a sh little shy of fifteen hundred smiley faces. That's awesome. Finds. Finds you get a smiley face on the map when you find a geocache. Well, Cookie, they're good at arresting people, but they seem to be letting them go really quickly out there. Yeah. So um that's gonna be with them. What See, you got the there? thing is they forget that you have to actually have the elements of the crime yeah. to charge somebody, and they just charge because they want to without having yeah. any elements of said crime. And then after so they the violate your rights. Ain't nothing here. Go about yep. your happy, merry way. 
And that's what it's one of the sad things when you get, you know, dishonest law enforcement officers, you know, they, they get you in front of a judge and well, you don't have the elements of it. Not guilty. Thank you for coming. All that. And then you're stuck, you know, they've taken up how much of your time. There we are. There we are. All these hoops. What's up? I got that. Oh, you know? and <laughs> that can be on the scavenger hunt too. That might be that... dangerous for me because uh, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I have some of those in my center console of my car, Erica. Yeah, I've got <laughs> enough of those. I keep a pair of oh, handcuffs in my car just oh. in case. Portillo's is near <laughs> Anaheim. Super tasty. Have you ever heard of them? No, but anything. Anaheim, there's a lot of, um, it's kind of Santa Ana, Anaheim. Okay. There's a lot of uh, Hispanic Latino. It's a great place to go eat tacos. I want to hit one of those oh, one of those food trucks where they got like the eight pound burritos. <laughs> oh, tons of those. Yeah, you just have to find the right one you want on the map, and we'll go. Yeah, yeah. I just there's want a whole of bunch of ooey gooey enchiladas and tacos and chili rellenos and uh, tamales. Just Rice bring it on and just gonna turn into eat machine. Y'all, I'm not coming back to Tampa up twenty pounds. Just what y'all know. I am. I We're am gonna walk it off anyway. <laughs> You're gonna need that just for the energy levels. So <laughs> right. uh, let's see. Gary Mackey wants to know if they're gonna have to send Zach Morgan with us to keep us out of trouble. <laughs> that would be so, nice. I think we're gonna need him after, but <laughs> oh, I only have 422 <laughs> fines. Oh wow. I mean 1422, 1422. Wow. Not as that close sounds to like a law of whatever that is. That sounds like a law. Of something. Yeah, Grandma, we got we got them all over here. We've got a section called Mexican Town here in Detroit, and you get a lot of really authentic uh, food yeah. from there. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, we see. we have a place here from Chicago called Patillo's, which is close to that. That's a hot dog and uh, Italian beef sandwich place. Never heard of it. That's, you were going to do screaming. mine the other day. I don't know what that. I don't know what that means unless there's another message. What's that? Um, red. What's? Oh. Yeah, I don't see their message above. We were going to do mine the other day. Could you e list? And then there's an at. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Huh. And then it, then they say it was it was po. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It give us some more information. M Mc. Elise McAleese, yeah. Um, uh, McAleese, McMac McAleese, uh, yeah. Give us a little more on that. Um, let's see, yeah, Gary. Uh, Greek Town in Detroit is, is they're both, I, I love them both. So they're uh, we've got Greek carbon Town Detroit. Springs, excellent Greek food because it's all full of Greeks. Oh yeah, uh, like oh, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, still planning area. on doing Detroit, MacLeese. That's uh, just trying to get everything together. You know, I've been crushing it trying to get this stuff done and everything else. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's see. Wait a minute, I didn't even see the dogs. Oh, they got a Patellos in Anaheim. That's uh, what it, he was talking about. There's a Patellos oh, okay. in Anaheim. You know, oh, there's so you have a channel that you want put out there. Is that what it is? Oh, is that what's what's going on? Uh, put your link I, in there. I'll I'll bring I it right up so right now. Let me go to the channel and look and see. Oh, they're trying to get theirs get live. live. Yeah. Okay. So. They need. Do you need subs? What do you need? Yes. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Put your link in there see. if you already have your channel built. You just haven't launched it. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll make sure yeah, everybody. We'll boost uh, you. Yeah. Get in there. Boosty boostness. Yeah, uh, Mona, the reason why we have so many Patellos here in the Tampa Bay area is the guy who started or the family that started Patellos up in Chicago now lives here in the Tampa Bay area. So we have a bunch of them here now because of that, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I think oh, that's why go. you don't have any in New there. Jersey. Okay, there it is. Way to go, Red. For some reason, it won't let me do the, let me copy it. In the stream yard. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to find it here. Oh, let me copy. Uh, I'm afraid to get on my phone at the same time as my stream because of 
it might yeah. it'll, it'll do things don't want things to be done there we go okay i got it up all righty dang it so make <laughs> make uh Omeka Lee's, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. Are you are you going to be doing Scientology content videos, or what's your role with this channel? Looks like it's mostly about the uh, the fur babies there. <laughs> Pretty puppies. I'm definitely subscribing to it. You know, I love the fur babies. So. <laughs> now, what are the what what's breed are those? Let's say mastiffs or like bull mastiffs or something. And I don't know all of them. Scientology yeah, is super like, beautiful. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if they put something in there. That's very cool. Awesome. Well, well, thank you, Mr. Welcome Lister. to the family. English Mastiffs. English Mastiff. I was, yeah, I said Mastiff. Oh, English That's Mastiff. Cool. Wow. Yeah, you got it right. Now, is there a difference cool, between English Mastiff and, and Mastiff and Bull, Bull Mastiff? Are those two different breeds? Like German Shepherd and Dutch Shepherd? Kind of like yeah, there's size and color, but they're from the same yeah. kind of breed, but they their size and color is different. But they definitely look like mastiffs. Yeah. How is the Cuban food scene there in the Tampa area? Well, duh, Ybor City is all Cuban. Is it? So yeah. We should go there one day, Laurie. Cuban you you and I, we should Dustin, we should go there one day and and, and do yeah, a live from there. It's closer for me to go to the Tampa yeah. org. Come over there for yeah. a change, yeah. Yeah, and then we, we can go we get Cubans. For things yeah. Past. yeah Cuban okay. sandwiches. I mean, Cuban sandwiches. It sounds bad. It sounds bad when oh, you say let's go oh, get Cuban sandwiches. Cuban sandwiches. Oh, let's not you know just couple in the back of my car and a, a, some Cuban partners, but just you know sandwiches. Yeah. Hey, can you drink them home with me, please? Muchas gracias. Let's go. You know when when Chad and I were there the day we were flying out, Chad had never had a euro. A Greek euro. Really? Yep. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. So I took him right down. Uh, I could eat those all day long. Golf. Know, what right? is that? Uh, that uh, golf to whatever golf to road. Bay. Golf yeah. To bay. We took that straight on down into Tampa. Yeah. Golf and, uh, you know, I'm trying to find him something different that he's never tried before. And, and he'd never had, he'd never had Greek food. And I'm like, dude, we got to break you on a euro right now. So. <laughs> So good. <laughs> like uh, Cheryl was saying, we got a huge Greek community just north of us. It's north of Dunedin, which is north of Clearwater. And uh, there's some fantastic restaurants out there. There's one at the Sponge Dock that has a pastry shop connected to the restaurant. Yes. And they stock oh, yeah. all these restaurants with the pastries. Mm hmm so, so good, so it's, so good. It's called I mean, Hellas. That's it, Hellas. So, yeah. Yeah. Big, big shout out to Hellas at the Sponge Dock in Tarpon Springs. Their their yeah. food is to good die stuff. for. Yeah. One of the guys I used to work with, his family owns one of the big famous uh, Greek restaurants in downtown Detroit. There, I'm trying to find it. It. uh but yeah, they've been there. I think something like fifty years. His family's been running this uh, restaurant. It's huge. So you uh, have a, a big Greek community there in Detroit. Yeah, very. Oh, okay. well, we have a lot of what are called Coney Islands around here, and they're they're just little uh, Greek diners, basically. Okay. And food is just amazing. Carbon is fun. It's a cool place to just go and walk trying to find it's a it. good place to take the boat too it's fun that's where the scalloping is during scallop season if we yeah. get out there where's this where's this i love scallops where's this yeah but you, you you got oh, really? the, uh, we got to go to pasco county and north to be in legal uh harvesting grounds you got to go up there you can't do it in pinellas oh, right. Ooh. oh pasco okay. don't they have like massive snails or something in pasco <laughs> And all the strippers. I, I can tell you on that. Pasco is just north of us here. Yeah, I haven't heard good and, things about Pasco. <laughs> oh, I live like yeah, two miles from Pasco. Most of my shopping really? I go to Pasco County to do, yeah. 
Well, the sh- isn't it the sheriff of Pasco is always delivering? He gets up and he says how many baddies he caught today and what they were doing. No, and stuff. that's that's Grady Judd, Polk County. He's my hero, man. Oh, he's the no. he's a beast. Oh. Yeah, that's Polk Sorry. County. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, Grady, Grady Judd, man. He's Grady he's Judd like, for president. And we he don't put up with this I stuff know. in my county. It's okay, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Polk, not Pasco. Sorry. Well, see, he's Polk. he's ma- I mean, and what he goes after the most are people preying on children which is yes, why he I does. Love him. that's why i watch him like exactly. a lot of um you know the <laughs> the folks who prey on the young ones oh yeah yeah, yeah he's, well, he's i, I yeah. like the fact that he's not afraid to put it out there just put that information no, out show no. their pictures and all that mm-hmm. and that yeah, uh right. you know sometimes i i've met him sometimes he comes across a bit arrogant but he's uh i like the oh, work he's met- doing <laughs> no, I like. Yeah, he's good. He's good. <laughs> You're talking about Sheriff Jug, Jug. Yeah, Grady. Grady Judd. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like Erica. Grady. Let's see him on Scientology. I, I wish they had something Trump, there, and maybe yeah. he would do something about it. Yeah. yeah let's take yeah. him downtown. Mona, <laughs> you gotta remember, I live right outside of. Uh, I live a. You know, Dearborn is right outside of Detroit. So I'm just a hop, skip, and a jump from Dearborn. And we had, you know, for the longest time, we had one of the largest Middle Eastern populations in the United States there. The That's food true. there is amazing. Oh, so, I bet. I oh bet. it's great stuff. Let's see. Yeah, folks are saying they like Grady. Um, yeah, that would be great. I'm, I'm wondering if, uh, you know, we had a maybe a retired deputy who might have a way to get hold of Grady and uh, – you know, get his interests on Scientology as well. That would be the thing is there's, there's no, there's no org or mission or anything oh. in, in oh, Polk really? County. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, really we, we've got Tampa and Miami, um, not, not counting Clearwater because that's in a, that's a beast of its own. And right. then, then I, I, it's, there's, I don't think there's one in Jacksonville. I think the next one is, um, oh, Atlanta, wow. and there's yeah, really hardly anything in the southeast. That's crazy. He's right in between Orlando and Tampa and Clearwater. Yeah. So, oh, in Orlando, I forgot about Orlando. There is one in Orlando, but that's uh, well, Orange County. Oh, that's you know, right. The there is, is one in Orlando. Yeah. We all know that they're out there doing a lot of this trafficking with the children and stuff like that. That would be uh, be pretty interesting. You know, well, catch them in the act. When I get my tiny house and move to Orlando, I'm going. I'm taking my operation to the Orlando org. Mm. Just letting y'all know, anybody that lives in Orlando and wants to get involved in stuff, that's where I'll be. <laughs> that's I'm house is already breaking up the band. We haven't even got out on the street yet. <laughs> well, you guys are just going to have to I'm make hurt. the run. How, long, how far is it from from Clearwater? To, yeah, it's not too bad. You we know, can drive up there, Dustin. We can go. Dustin, go get your pilot's license, and you can just fly up there. Nice right. and easy. No. Florida is no. the mecca for flying, so I can't fly there. I just got to go to Chicago first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the heck is up with everybody having to fly out of Charlotte? Every flight you take, I'm flying from Detroit to LA, but I got to fly to Charlotte or Dallas first. What is up with that? <laughs> that's that's if you're flying on American because it's a hub and spoke situation in Charlotte and Dallas are hubs for American. Oh, okay. So, so I'm, like I'm a little upset. American. I literally had to go to a park in Tampa so I could see a live alligator out there. A wild I, alligator. I, I've been here five years. Uh, that The only one I saw was at a putt-putt golf course. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that. That during during alligator mating season, we got calls, not quite daily, but several calls a week. And they would literally, we had them where they were like literally like trying to climb up some homeowner's oh, yeah. front door yeah. and they couldn't get in their house. And we had some, some of our cops were gator trackers and they would, they would, uh, uh, they would, you know, get them taped up and get them transported someplace safe. But uh, man, we, we'd have them climbing fences and they go nuts during mating season. We saw them like crazy. Is that your son? That is my son. He walked by, but we said, howdy. <laughs> so. everybody said, hi, buddy. 
Hip, hip, hooray. And, uh, Apparently they saw a glimpse of you as you went by. I'm on a live stream right yeah. now. Hip, Grandma hip, Mat hooray. Matilda says uh, she's north of Orlando and join you when you move up there. Beautiful. You know who else is there? Uh, Wise Mama, I think, is up that way. Really? Yeah. And if uh, folks didn't know it, I just got a message from Nasty Nathaniel earlier. He's leaving out tomorrow for the Philippines. So nice. Ooh. He's talking about uh, staying like six months at least. So. Wow. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Is he? Is this like a vacation kind of a thing? Or? I think it's just a uh, go over there and just uh, bum it for a while, you know? Nice. Just, you know, I mean, uh, it's one of those things. I mean, you get you get over there like in Thailand right now, U.S. dollars worth like 40 Thai dollars. So, wow. so you know, the Philippines has a little bit le a little bit lower on the economy, so the U.S. dollar stretches more. You get into Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia's like one U.S. dollars equal, I think, to eight uh, Malaysian ringgits right now. So it's um, you know your dollar spends well, and if mm, yeah, you know it's nasty really saved up, expense. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff on YouTube too about people that are retired and on fixed incomes and they oh, yeah. go and they live in another country for all expenses 500 bucks a month i know people yeah. have moved to like costa rica and and uh uruguay. you know central a great central place in south america uruguay? Yeah. oh love yeah. uruguay beautiful what is have that been? yeah what is that drink they make where it's the uh the leaves they grind up and put in with the hot water it's a tea kind of tea they make. I was going to say that's called tea or coffee. Oh, yeah, but yeah. It, it's different because it's literally like it looks like you got a pile of grass sitting on the top wow. of, the, of the water, but it's really good and it's Excuse like me, uh, addictive. Uh, let's see. No, that might be cocaine. Um, <laughs> no, I haven't tried that yet. Coquina, coquina leaves. Mate. Oh, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yerba mate. Yeah. Right. That's the, Gives that's the one buzz. I was thinking of. But yeah, it, literally, I'm trying to find a good picture of it. So, it, but yeah, it, Panama, Uruguay, they're supposed to be excellent places to, um, you can buy mm. a nice house, some land, and it's a yep. beautiful country. Everything's set up, you know. They're a lot quite, of the countries yeah, are Good night. Good night in Bonnie, Scotland. Good night. It's too yeah. bloody cold in Bonnie, Scotland. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're going to bed, Hanrathi. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, that hey, looks like. Know, I had a, I had that's a guy it. That's not that. To drink that kind of stuff all the time. All the. It's supposed to be really is good. Is that a straw or a pipe? It is. It's that's a, a, that's a straw. Like a bowl. <laughs> and they've got, they've got <laughs> like a. Uh, yeah, well, that's, on the say, end that's the biggest bong I've ever seen right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big that, pipe. Uh, no, there, I, I had a, I had a friend that used to drink that kind of tea all the time, yeah, all the time. Uh, and we used to, put he would say your, it was really, really your good. Pipe and smoke it, laddie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you, you know what I like. That. Boba Ooh. teas. Have you ever had boba teas? I love that. Oh, yeah. I like boba yeah. tea. Yeah. My kids are addicted to that stuff. So I get it at Costco. Oh really? Yep. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you can buy the the frozen kits where you literally just uh, boil the water and put the frozen stuff right in there, and it's good to go. So mm -hmm. come with those Super big, delicious. huge straws and everything. So let's see, trying to look at everything else. But... Yeah. Oh, Montevideo. Yeah. Every yes. time I see Grandma Matilda, I think there's a song in there somewhere. Grandma Matilda. Well, there it is. It just sounds like a song. I just need. I well, need to write a Grandma Matilda, Matilda song. But I tell you, anywhere in South America, you just have to be. Uruguay is good because they don't have a lot of the the cartel influence there, but a right. lot of a lot of the other countries do. But I mean, to do things like be in Colombia and come up to the edge of a river and hear this funky noise, and then realize it's the the hippos that were released when they went in and raided the compound of that, uh, that cartel. Pablo Escobar's hippos. Yeah. <laughs> they now have a breeding population of like 200 hippos in the wild rivers around wow. that area. So That's wow. awesome. Wow. When they go in extinct. Oh no, that was the white hippo or the black hippo. Or that the was white the, rhino. the white rhino. So yeah. 
Well, it's like the Asian rhino. They're they're critically endangered as well. So send know. them to Colombia. <laughs> yeah. They'll thrive there, that's for sure. They're they're uh those hippos are just going crazy there. <laughs> there's, there's videos if you watch nighttime, they go walking right through the villages and stuff, right down the main street and everything. And that's, just, that's one mating season I would not want to stumble into. <laughs> Alligator oh, mating good. season is bad enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. Well, gotta, but hippos got some poundage on the, well, they're the they they kill more people than pretty much anything. Uh, right. They're, uh, they're the most dangerous uh, animals there are. I, I'm believing I, uh, mating season. Anybody want any turtles? Give me a holler. I got a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, you got the red ears, me? right? I got a I got a red ear slider. Turtle rescue, Cheryl. I didn't That's know the, that. Those are the little ones we used to have as little, as kids, right? With a little yes, island shaped tub that had the little plastic uh, palm tree sticking up on the little ramp. Oh, we, my brother and I used to have a red ear slider races on the picnic table with our turtles. <laughs> oh, there yeah. we go. Michael East is the one who had the um, had the interview with the uh, Inspector General there uh, about LAPD and everything. So, really? Yeah, they got they uh, they were up before one of the I believe it was a council meeting or something like that, and they were asked by the inspector general if they could meet with them and have a uh, conference about it. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, nice. Was, okay. uh, Keep an eye on that. Right yeah. Yeah. Report on that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, I would I love in to Alaska live in Alaska. Alaska except it's so cold. You. Wow. I tell you what. Um, you, it's beautiful. we were in the UP and we stopped at a McDonald's. Uh, we'd taken the kids up there. We stayed at by Mackinac Island and all that. And we decided we wanted to go up to the UP, show the kids, you know, going across the bridge and all we stopped mm -hmm. at this McDonald's and they had a huge concrete moose in the center of town. And it was declared the, uh, moose capital of Michigan. And while mm -hmm. we were sitting there at McDonald's, all of a sudden, it was like a storm had rolled in because it had gotten dark inside the restaurant. We looked up and it was a big bull moose just sauntering along beside the restaurant. <laughs> you have no idea how huge them animals are till you see them up close and personal. Yeah. They are they are monsters. I've I've it, seen elk up close and personal, but elk our mooses are even bigger than that. So I can oh, yeah, only they're, imagine they're the biggest members uh, of the and, uh, and the deer elk family. Doesn't hop over a fence; it just walks over a fence. Oh, <laughs> and, moose are good. and they're not the friendliest, are they? I hear moose are not. You don't want to. No, no. They there's no, lots you of. You don't want to go up and try to pet them. No. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's I like want to answer Sun, Sunshine Don's question. Um, go ahead. The red, the red ear sliders are non are invasive species in the state of Florida. So when we find them, um, we have an option to either keep them as a pet or turn them over to the FWC, who's going to euthanize them. That is yeah. basically your two options. You're not supposed to release them whatsoever. So I started just keeping them and. I uh, eventually made a deal with Tarpon Springs Aquarium, and when they get too big for my pond, I will take them up to Tarpon Springs Aquarium, and then they have a deal with somebody in FWC who takes them up to like Georgia and puts them in a pond. Right. So, oh, so, so good. So once these turtles show up, uh, the the yellow belly sliders are native to Florida and. You can have those. Those are what all the pet stores have, and those you can release too. But We've if you had the release, red ears in Florida for years in pet stores. I was a little kid no, when I yeah. first got, my, got one. Yeah, they're yeah. not supposed to have them. Interesting. It's a, an invasive species in the state of Florida, so they don't that's like what, them. Uh, that's what Rocky had in his. Were who remembers what Rocky's turtles were named? Oh. So Cuff somewhere and near and my backyard, there's a turtle nest because I keep pulling turtles Cuff out of our, our out yeah. of our pool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I had 25 babies oh. this year. So you know, he still got them, and they're over 44 years old. <laughs> did it hurt? 44. <laughs> so how big do they get in the in the wild? 
Well, when they're born, they're only like that, but they only get about. They get that. Yeah. See, I mean, yeah, I guess I never had one life. live that long because they stay, they stay like no bigger than that, really. Mm-hmm. Here you go. I got. Uh, he he still got them, and they're over forty four years old. And here's a picture it's of him. Yep, right there. What? And they're called Cuff oh. and Link. Oh, oh very cool. You know, five minutes ago. Oh, those. Those were the turtles that were in the uh, Rocky movies. Yeah, I think he had yeah, a he kept name. them. Yeah. That's amazing. Cuff I didn't know they lived that long. Like I guess I sucked at turtle care. He had them in the movie uh, Creed <laughs> too, as, all, as well. So <laughs> sorry, That's turtles. Cool. I remember that. I, I faintly no. remember that. Well, you know what's crazy is is in the ten years running the Southeast Michigan Reptile Rescue. I took more alligators and crocodilians out of Michigan waterways than I've ever seen in Florida in the wild. We took over 30 of them out of uh, waterways here in Michigan over you 10 years. You crocodilians and alligators in Michigan? You've not spent enough time here then because. They, yeah. I tell but you what, they, when uh, I go out on a kayak, if, I, mm-hmm. if I'm, at, if I'm in, at, after dark, I could get my flashlight and shine it on the water, and you see yeah. like orange eyes. Yeah, like the eye shine. You wouldn't believe. Well, in it our is- retention pond in the back, we've got a little wally gator. I wanted to take Kelly yeah. to go see it. I mean, you want to see a wally gator? He's right in the backyard here. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, then that that's a crazy thing is people would buy them and they would get to like three or four feet long, and they would get too big for them to keep, and they'd put them out in like lakes, go. ponds, and rivers here. Yeah, not yeah. pets, people. Not pets. Yeah. Not realizing that's, that that's they would. Why, uh, uh, invasive species are so. Uh, cramped down on here in Florida because of all the pythons that people let loose in mm-hmm. the Everglades. Yep. And it turned out they Probably just the love king. it and bred like crazy. Mm-hmm. It's a perfect place um, for them. If Who's you're driving in the state of Florida and you're in any kind of rental box truck, like a rider truck or a, a U-Haul or anything like that, you have to stop at the border and go through a, yeah. almost like an immigration. They're looking for invasive species animals. Yep, they, uh, we've we I've seen them many times <laughs> going down there. Yeah, uh, so. something that was really interesting was in Thailand we would go out and do the midnight herping where we're looking for the snakes and everything, and you look for eye shine just like you would with for gators right. or crocs or mm-hmm. whatever. But you're out there and you're you know I had the the little uh, beacon right there on the you know on the headband, and I'm looking around and I see these eye shines get up to get up close to the bush or whatever where I'd see it and it'd be a spider about that big around sitting up in there. Wow. I didn't know spiders uh, did I shine. Uh, yeah. No. no. Nope, nope, yeah. Nope. Crazy I'm Ron stuff. Weasley when it comes to that. Yeah, I'm I'm not a big spider person myself, but goodness. A spider uh, with eye shine? Yeah, no. Where's this? I'm not going. Where's this? I, Thailand. <laughs> Bye, Thailand. <laughs> I'm just not well, going out at midnight on on snake hunting tours. I'll go to no. Thailand, but I'll be doing other things with my time. We <laughs> I'll be were, sitting on the beach we, where I can see everything. <laughs> they've got these um they've got these canals run all through Bangkok and they call them klongs. And literally yeah. I walked out of my Airbnb, walked down maybe an eighth of a mile from my Airbnb Airbnb to one of the klongs and I mean it's literally my Airbnb was between the major uh, roadway that runs through uh, the entire country of Thailand called Sukhumvit Road. But I go walking the other way. I'm down at the Klong, and I was catching monocle cobras down there, all kinds of vipers. And uh, we even saw a um, – we got a glimpse of a king cobra before it, it went into a uh, set of bushes, and we lost him. But this is literally in a city of like 12 or 13 million people. And you're right in the heart of it, and you've got all these things out there. Why do you want to catch them? <laughs> it's just something that uh, it's one of my one of my passions. I love uh, love snakes, reptiles, especially crocodilians and venomous. Those are my those are my two real passions. You're, you're not uh, bringing any to Los Angeles. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, they got enough of their own out there. They got Eastern Diamondbacks. You've got all the different ones out there that. You know, I don't think you're. I don't think you're really going to be finding them in in downtown LA. It's a little bit different than down out there in Thailand. But man, they, uh, it's crazy. I, I was telling a story one time. A friend of mine, he uh, he 
picked up about an eight foot uh, radiated uh, rat snake. And he turned around and he's like, take a look at this. And I'm reaching over. I come up and I've got about a three or four foot monocle cobra on my hook. And I'm like, what about that? So, yeah. It, uh, hey, John, I just sent you uh, I just sent you a couple pictures on Messenger. Check those out real quick. That's okay. got the turtle. Uh, the Alrighty. turtle. My uh, aquarium. I In L.A., we can find some possums and some raccoons. That's That's about it. I got them in my house already. Shoot, they're I right out back. In my backyard, yeah. Oh, we we got a lot of rac or uh, possums here. That's a nice oh, setup. You got and armadillos, and if if it's a road kill road kill armadillo, you call it possum on the half shell. There you oh, go. I know. I see possum shells all over the place around here. La, we how don't many gallons that. is that? Not Dustin? possum. I mean armadillos. Oh, how cute! Oh, that's a. Uh, <laughs> That's a 30 gallon. Oh, look how cute. Those little ones are probably about uh, breakfast sausage patty size, aren't they? <laughs> They're not very big. Now, you having problems? You have problems with the filtration and everything with the uh, um, with the waste and all that with them? Dustin, did he freeze up? There I think he froze up. <laughs> Oh, there, there he is. I did. Uh, he came back. Now, how bad's the filtration? If I move for around, that kick stuff. If I get on the internet, other than my laptop, it affect. If I sit with my leg up this way, or it just. <laughs> if I make an actual studio, I'm going to put it somewhere where my uh, uh, where my internet's stronger. Right on top of the internet box. <laughs> hey, here you go. Uh, Susan P can show um, you how to catch tarantula, Cheryl. We didn't have you can to catch me, but I won't be there. <laughs> we didn't have we didn't have to catch them down in uh, Wachuca, Arizona. Goodness, you you'd walk out the front door and they'd be all over the steps. Orange County, okay. I lived close, just north of Camp Pendleton, the Marine Station. Mm -hmm. Camp Pendleton is is tarantula. Oh, okay, yeah. So there are certain times a year we were driving through the base. And one of them was on the street. And I mean, they're like this big, they're huge. And I'm like, it's staring at me. And I went right over it. I didn't smash it, but apparently you can see the whole ground moving. There are times of year when they're mating, oh, yeah. period. Oh, yeah. Is. oh, yeah, no. You, you, ever seen that, that, like, have you ever seen that stuff from Australia where the uh, caterpillars create webbing that just covers miles and miles everything. of stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going yeah. to Australia. For <laughs> everything crazy. wants to kill you in australia so i was we were supposed and to go another big uh, thing in la are the blue belly lizards la has a lot of blue belly lizards they're cute though they they're don't a lot of we're them. used to lizards only about this they the are skinks cute. we got we, so many lizards here, was... so real oh yeah you guys got the what are the little ones you guys got the annals yeah, the little yeah, gnolls everywhere. Yeah, I love Every year was, we used to come home with some of them. When I was little, we, that's, I mean, we, that's all we did was play outside. It was before any, any other interesting things to do. But I, uh, it, and I would, I would catch the, our lizards. And oh, okay. if you, if you, and I would keep, I would try to keep them as pets. I would, you know, I'd go find grass and, you know, I'd stick everything. I'd put them in an aquarium outside and it didn't last long because, you know, my dad guilted me into, he's probably missing his family. But right. once again, I, you, you can very, very gently Sorry. squeeze their jaw and it and their mouths open. I'm not <laughs> suggesting anybody try this. I was like eight at the time. Uh, so I would, I would have them open their mouths and I'd put them up to my earlobe and then let go. And then they would clamp down. So I did that on the ears and I went in the house. Mom, look at my earrings. And she just starts. <laughs> hey, isn't the Chuck Walla, isn't, is that the one that they show on the video where it's running on the beach and all the snakes come out after it? No, that was an iguana. What the hell is a chugwala? What's that? Is that a thing? A real thing? It's a species of um it's a, a lizard. The desert lizard. 
trying to relatively obscure, obscure North American lizard. Huh. They're pretty cool looking though. He looks like my, the guy. My golden, one of my golden retrievers, that's her favorite thing to do is chase lizards. And we don't know how many times we see Peggy with the little tail sticking out of her damn mouth. They, they can make them very sick. I have to, my dog loves chasing them too. And I have to watch her because that can really make, they, that can make them very sick if they eat them. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, he's cute. He's pretty color. Yeah, blue. I yeah. like him. He's cute. Yeah, and Gary's right about that one. One of the weirdest warnings you'll ever hear is falling lizard warning in Miami. I used to have an, a, a couple of iguanas. That would really upset me if I saw iguanas falling from trees. I'd be like warming them up. Come here, baby. <laughs> yeah. well, Chuck Wallace well, live in the desert in rocky areas. Oh, okay. I've yeah, I just never heard of him. That's a cute name. I neither. You, you know, know another one. Was that the blue thing? Yeah. Well, you get those you get in Thailand like crazy. The geckos are everywhere. They're, yeah, you they're get like, like the Hawaiian the islands too. They're, they're a little cool little little lizard. I like the geckos. Yeah, you Hawaii, they were everywhere. Yeah. Well, you know, the wife and I were all set. We were going to go to. Uh, we were heading out to Australia. We're heading to uh, Queensland. They're having a, there's a big thing called um, CMT Rocks Queensland, and it's a big country music festival they have out there, like the uh, European music festivals. Hmm. And so we were going to go down there. We were all set the day before we were supposed to fly out. They, uh, that's, they locked the country down the day before we were supposed to get there. Then oh, that was for man. the pandemonium. So we never got to do it, but I was so looking forward to trying to get my hands on some wild, you know, taipans, king browns, those kind of all the different snakes that were going to be around there where we were at. I was so looking forward to that. You know, unfortunately they didn't have any crocs that were in the wild there because it was too far south for them. But uh man, I wanted to check out the crepitus what she had there. Two uh, bearded dragon cute. Oh two beardies, yeah. They're so sweet. Yeah, they're very docile, yeah. aren't they? They're very sweet. We know we, we had a uh, spotted or what a leopard. Oh heck, I forget. They're leopard the big gecko. Yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah. Well, you know, one year when we were down in down in uh we used to go down towards Flagler Orman by the sea over on the east side every year. That's where our place was. We uh one year while we were down there, we went to the uh the Daytona flea market. And we bought a green iguana from there, brought it home. We had it for years. When I gave it to a friend, it was almost seven foot long. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. But that big old I boy he hated me for some reason. Every time I got near him, he'd start lashing out with his tail and trying to hit me. <laughs> the wife would go pick him up, and he would just climb right up on her shoulder, put his head down, and just, just lay there. <laughs> Love yeah, the wife. He would lie yeah. here. I mean, I did get a tail to the face here and or the neck here, but he would just kind of lay there and he'd, he'd, he'd scratch his yeah. little head. He loved it. Oh, he, he just loved the wife. And uh, he just got to a point where he was just, he was just getting too big. And a uh, friend of mine, he, he wanted him so bad. I'm like, here, come get him, take the enclosure and all. So mm -hmm. he kept him for probably another five years uh, before he finally passed away. Oh. Well, Let's see. Your wife probably smelled a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm not going to argue that. Yeah, she definitely does. That's. Uh... <laughs> oh, Anna's got a five foot corn snake. Those are nice. Corns are good, good snakes. They're easy to handle. Really rely, really resilient. They're, uh, they're just good ones. And they're friendly. Uh, mm hmm. Well, I even... had one. I don't remember the exact <laughs> name. But it was like a, it looked like candy. It was so pretty. It was striped. And I think I named, yeah, I named it Willy Wonka. Uh, I got it for the kids, actually. And I can't remember the name of it, but it was some sort of a rat snake. Wow. We oh, okay. it. Corn snake. Let's see. I'm trying to find right now. It all depends on where they're from because they're from all over the world. Do you, do you remember the colors that it had? Yellow, white, um, red or orange. It may have even had a candy in its name. 
<laughs> it wasn't the uh, bamboo rat snake, was it? No. Let's see. Let me. I'm just gonna search candy rat snake and see what comes up. Something like that. I'm so. Yeah, it was. Now. It was. It wasn't bold <laughs> colors like that. It was more like oh. pastel-y, I think. Oh, okay. It's it's interesting all the all the different species that are out there. You really don't the candy Mexican cane corn milk snake. Cake? Yeah, candy cane corn snake. That's not what it looked like though, but that's a big one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean mine was, I mean, mine was, mine was really young, but there is a candy corn candy corn snake. Yeah. Hmm. But that one looks like it's got squirrels or something, and I, I didn't remember always having that. I'll have to look more into it. I've got yeah, some pictures somewhere I'll find for you. And, you know, it could be there's so many different morphs and things like that. We just went to a yeah. uh, uh, reptile show down in Toledo uh, last month, my son and I, and it was just ridiculous all the different morphs they have for the pythons and things like that. So it's not... Uh, it's not unusual that you may not see what you saw back then because they're, you know, they've been breeding them so crazily to try to get all these wild colors out of them. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to look at other things here. So, all right, but we're coming on two hours now. And it's amazing it happens that wow, quick, doesn't time it? Time flies when you're having yeah, a yeah. fantastic time. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. I like what you did there. <laughs> fantastic i got fantastic. my microphone if you guys hit that 400 mark i got i got i got the microphone right here to sing to cheryl so i i put a <laughs> pledge in the chat <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget please you know like and subscribe Lori and cheryl and uh, everybody John, if you have an yep you only need eight more so eight more. Uh, <laughs> yep if you're on my channel and you haven't subscribed to dustin soda fountain please do absolutely please folks make sure you get over there and check him out let me put the uh i i, I promise to sing uh to share off week if i hit 400 so what song oh, hi, kathy. Kathy. <laughs> hi kathy i know what are you gonna sing <laughs> what's that Do Beyonce song. <laughs> <laughs> you have something picked no, up this ain't this ain't request hour. <laughs> oh, it's not request hour? Okay, apparently. <laughs> well, we can't take him to because, Asia. He won't do any good at the karaoke bar. Don't know much about their history. Talking about Scientology. But I do know that I love you, Farrell Cheryl. And I know if you love us too. Oh, Whoa, your, your subscribers went down I after you started wonderful. singing. I'm not as good as you're like, down to 375 now. <laughs> you got me looking now. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's good boy, Bucket, so we can carry that too, huh? I, I I can't complain because I can't sing for nothing either. So neither can I. Right. I. Laura always goes to a karaoke bar after they do the protesting. So we might end uh -huh. up doing a karaoke in the late. I'm go Laura. I'm singing karaoke with her. I lost out That's, with yeah. Kelly, but I'm singing karaoke exactly. with her. I want yeah. a night of shots and Laurie and, <laughs> and Laura. Yeah, but didn't and Kelly so somewhat of a professional singer too? So you know. She I uh, too much she's... moving around. Well, you're at 395, <laughs> Dustin. Oh, I used to oh, oh, no, I used to host karaoke at the Spider Bar out in uh, out in Colorado, and even though I wasn't a good singer, you don't need to be a good singer to host karaoke. It's no. I used to sell a lot of beer at this place, so <laughs> I got I got the voice. I got Johnny quite the Blues Brothers it, repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, well, folks. Well, now we're hitting two hours. Uh, we'll start off with Miss Lori. You got any uh, closing notes for everybody here? Uh, notes? I did not know there was a test involved, so I was not Absolutely. taking notes. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, um, closing comments. I flunked <laughs> on this on the the first fan fantastic four apparently um but i will study harder for the next one and please like before you go subscribe to all four of us please if you haven't done so already i'm sure you have but if you haven't please do Amen. and come back if we do this again and oh, yeah. erica did suggest uh, like a game night sort of a thing yeah. perhaps and maybe even something we could play with our audience that would be cool how that about uh, really who can do the most SP, t SP thing before our next get together? <laughs> yeah. The most SP thing? Yeah. Help me out. Yeah. It's got to be something that's just completely SP, like showing up in front of flag dressed as Xenu, something like that, you know? Well, I've shown up in front of flag wearing a squirrel onesie. So that's I mean, in the past. We're talking about new things. I don't have. I do. I, where do you, where, where does one get a Xenu costume? I don't know. I'm just giving the idea. We, we need to come what, up what with does. like a map of Clearwater and put like highlights for a walking tour. And you I know, still need. I promised my audience um, a uh, um, a. Um, like a bingo thing where you spot everything. But but I think what they're talking about is us playing a game in yeah. this thing yeah. and, and preferably one that the audience could participate in. Exactly. Well, so yeah, that would be Folks, this idea is for what, what you think would be good. We'll, uh, we'll yeah. all confab on it and figure it out. Yeah. So Let's see, and yeah. uh, I, I, I got a confession I got to make, guys. You know, last night John entrusted me uh, by giving me his phone number, and I betrayed his trust within the first hour by calling him <laughs> one thirty in the morning. So sorry, John. I just, Justin, why? Right. 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 To be fair. Naughty I, get, I, I didn't, do it. I didn't like mean to do it. I just misread his so. his text saying, "Call me." Okay. <laughs> yeah, call he calls like, me an hour after dude, I give it to him. Bad. He was fanboying. Yeah. And, then, and that's how he starts it off with is I know I'm not supposed to be calling old people this late at night, but and I'm like, oh <laughs> okay, well, John gave me his phone number a month ago and I've never called him. So right. we, we texted. So yeah. all right, Cheryl, we you got any closing now. thoughts for us? I was told once by some guy that the secret to life was getting your tires rotated. So everyone, go get your tires rotated. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't know how to I follow that like up, what? Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have to keep the rubber side down. I guess the only thing I can think of on that one. And the shiny side <laughs> up. There you go. Well, folks, uh, thank you so well, much for joining love us. you out there. And it, it's it's such an honor to be out there doing this with these two guys. Happy and time, I just love you all very much. And thank you, John, for, you, you know, oh, do, doing the promoting that we, we don't get other places. John, you, you're John. the one that is really making it for us and it, making it fun for us. And and thank you for the credit that you give us because it's you guys are credit you guys are the the the, the only thing that i i want to see back from you is number one have fun while you're doing it be safe and pass pay it forward you know i had a lot of people that came in and helped me out when i first started and helped my channel to grow tremendously and that's for me that's the best part of it is you know helping others I mean, we've got a community here that we're already up against, you know, the Goliath of our world in Scientology. Yeah. They've got all this money. They've got all this reach. Do you see the corruption they have with the police? So anything that gets you, you know, the more the merrier, anything that gets everybody a leg up in this and gets the word out there that much more, that's what we we're trying to do. Um, little baby and, Davy in his fake space Navy. Little baby Davy in his fake space, space Navy. Somebody got into the beer early tonight, didn't they? Well, the gummies. That was that <laughs> flag. Yeah, that's me. It's the, the edibles on my end. But yeah, folks, thank you so much. You know, we, we, do, we do so many of these that are that are just so serious and everything. We got to have a night every once in a while where we just have fun with it. And that's yeah. that's what this is about. It's Love not you, taking Tanya. ourselves too serious. Yeah. And you know, just having fun with it, having a good night so everybody yeah. can have a laugh. 
And we'll be back at it tomorrow doing the serious th thoughts and things on Thank Scientology. You. Sunday, remember, uh, Perth Scientology Audit is going to be doing their first ever interview with me. And that's going to be amazing. Hear what's going on down under with all the uh, Scientology stuff in Australia. And as always, time folks. For that? What's the time for uh, it's that? Gonna I'm going to have to miss that one, night, I'm going to be at the Pink Floyd concert. Yep. <laughs> oh, 9 so p.m. Folks, yeah, no, that'll be good. There you I, go, I hope the LRH birthday party didn't taint the Ruth Eckert Hall that much because it's going to be a great concert on Sunday. <laughs> oh, <it was. laughs> they weren't happy. We know that. That's for sure. No, so, and well, folks, never just are. remember the the point of all this is we're trying to shut down this cult. They are damaging people, children, yes. families. They don't care. It's all about keeping their money, keeping their power. And everything that we do to move forward and bringing them down, it brings us that one that step closer to the goal. And as always, folks, life is short. You get one shot. Make it count.